Shabbat Shalom and welcome to Thought for Shabbat. So glad you're here. You might have noticed that today is the first of Elul. That is the Hebrew month of Elul prior to the month of Tishrei. The first of Tishrei is Rosh Hashanah. The 10th of Tishrei is Yom Kippur, the High Holy Days. So this is the month of preparation. And you might have also noticed that we only have one service in the evenings now, an Erev Rosh Hashanah and Kol Nidre. The main reason we did this was because the sanctuary was only half full for each service. I hope is that for Erev Rosh Hashanah and Kol Nidre, the sanctuary at 7 p.m. now will be full. And to be honest with you, from the Bima, oftentimes in those evening services, it felt wonderful to have people there to celebrate, and it also felt, how shall I say it, a little incomplete. We are better when we are all together. There's power in community. There is something that lifts the soul to be amongst those uh, whom you share with whom you share a spiritual home. And it's in that spirit, in this month of preparation, I'd like to read to you the top 10 list of why Rabbi Josh Hammerman said uh, he goes to synagogue on the High Holy Days and what he hopes each person will feel, and I concur completely. He said, number one, the entire experience brings me closer to that which is greater than myself, which the Jewish tradition calls God. Number two, I am able to see myself more clearly, warts and all, in the presence of the divine. Number three, it provides me with the opportunity to be in solidarity with the Jewish people and the Jewish people through time and space while staying in sync with the rhythm of Jewish time. Number four, the lessons of the holy days force me to face my own mortality, my own finitude, and help guide me on a path that will help to make my life count. These lessons are made evident in the liturgy and the spoken word. Number five, I am uplifted by the music and the words of Torah offered by the rabbi. I certainly hope so. Number six, it provides me with a sacred space for prayer and offers me words of prayer when I am unable to shape them on my own. Number seven, the high holy days provide me with guidance to set my life back on a course where I may have strayed. They provide me with strategies for living a holier, more sacred life. Number eight, in the context of supportive community, I am not afraid to be vulnerable, and I'm buoyed in my efforts to become a better person. Number nine, I am able to reaffirm my faith in God and my belief in the goodness of humankind. And finally, number 10, with all that I receive, I am able to leave the synagogue and face the year ahead optimistically, joyfully, and humbly. These are my prayers for each of you as well. So I hope you'll join us for the High Holy Days each and every service. I think that coming together as one community at 7 o'clock for the evening services will lift all of our spirits and only prove the point of the theme of this year, that we are all better together. Amen. Please join us tonight for services at 7 p.m. Looking forward to having you all there as we celebrate Shabbat with one another. Be well. Have a great weekend. Take care.